this Titan Tutorials video, we'll be showing you how to change out the sway bar end length on your Nissan Titan. You'll need a 3 quarter wrench, a 17 millimeter wrench, and a 19 millimeter wrench. If you're replacing the stock end lengths, you will need the 17 millimeter. We'll get started on the driver's side. Grab your 3 quarter wrench and position it around the bolt of the end length. This will be the part of the end length that's on the inside of the bracket. The purpose of this wrench is simply to hold the bolt in place while you loosen the nut. Grab your 17mm wrench and loosen the nut by turning counterclockwise. We broke the nut before filming this video. Apply plenty of PB Blaster ahead of doing your work. The sway bar end links can be extremely difficult to remove, especially if you're working with the original part. Take the time and apply the PB Blaster. Skipping this will result in a ton of unnecessary headache. Loosen the nut just until it's about to come off the bolt. You don't have to do it this way, we just find it's easier to work on the upper section. Move to the upper section and work on removing the nut again using the 17 millimeter and three quarter wrench. Now we can completely remove the bottom nut we don't need to save this because our kit comes with two new nuts, but here it is. You can see it still in relatively good shape, so you could reuse it if you wanted to. With the nuts removed, we're free to maneuver our end links out of the bracket. It just takes a little bit of patience and maneuvering, but it'll come right out. You can see that these end links are completely shot. The rubber is cracked. There's virtually no grease left inside. If your end links ever look like this, replace them as soon as you can. Okay, now we've moved on to the passenger side and we'll repeat this process all over again. Grab our 17 millimeter wrench and our three quarter wrench and get to work. Here we've laid out our two new end links along with the old end links. The new links are a direct fit replacement that have zerks should we ever need to add grease. Up here the old end links, again you can see how these end links have completely busted. They're absolutely no good so we're glad we got them off. Let's go ahead and get the new end links installed. We're starting on the passenger side. You can start on whatever side you want to. Align the bottom bolt with the hole of the bracket and then maneuver the top bolt to align with the sway bar. It'll take a small amount of force to get the bolt and the sway bar to line up. Nothing extreme, but just a little bit of force. The bolt should slide right in. And we have access to the grease zerk, so we're happy with this placement. Go ahead and hand tighten the nuts on both the upper and lower bolts of the end link. We only want to hand tighten them so that there's enough play to allow us to place the end link on the other side. Here on the driver's side, we'll repeat the process of placing the end link. Get the upper and lower nuts on the bolts and then we can move ahead and tighten them down. Back on the passenger side we'll tighten the nuts down to 35 foot pounds using a 19 millimeter wrench. That was the spec that came with this particular part. Yours may be slightly different depending on the manufacturer, but it'll be right around that 35 to 40 range. Don't forget to use your three quarter wrench to keep the bolt from spinning as you tighten the nut.
Now we're free to tighten down the driver's side and our job is done. That's all there is to changing the sway bar end links on your Nissan Titan. You'll spend most of your time trying to break the nut of the original part. We hope this video helps you on your next install. Thank you for watching and we'll see you next time for another Titan Tutorials video.